Uh, today, I'm gonna be wiring up the sounds in this thing. It's gonna be bumping. It's gonna sound really sick. Yeah. yeah. Show us the setup. What are we running? So come here, what are we running? I wanna, I'm gonna show you the sounds today. What I'm gonna install. Bam! Alpine S series and Mark's personal choice. Boss Audio. So that's how it looks like. I, I didn't want anything with like a bezel that pops out, which you have like the bezel that pops out. I don't, I just want something that's sleek and just flows with the interior really, really well. So my first impression of this is, um, it's very light. It feels very, it feels very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see, I don't know. It should work. Okay, so let me explain a little bit of this. Boss Audio, um, I read the reviews on Best Buy. It was apparently pretty good. It retails at 250. Here it is, I picked it up at 200 on Cyber Monday. It's slim. It's slim. very slim, very slim. It, and, and I think it's hollow. <laughs> this is the Alpine speakers. It's a sleek look. It's a uh, all, all black. And uh, yeah, they actually look very quality. I think this weighs heavier than the stereo. <laughs> yeah, let's get this started. So, I did this on my last audio system. It looks very janky. I do not like the way this looks. So I'm gonna redo all this. This, we're not gonna use the same one. This is what we're gonna need to use. This is the stock harness. This is a sub harness. And this, I, I don't remember buying this, but it's kind of cool, but this was like a sub harness to a sub harness. It went like this, but I'm not gonna use this because I, as you can see, I uh, I used to be, I, my, I'm, I'm, I get very worried over the littlest things. And when I did this, like four years ago, three, four, three, four years ago, I made this very ugly because I was really worried about shorting these wires out. So, man, this is really ugly. I, I soldered each each wire together and then I, I wrapped them with electrical tape, with this ugly orange electrical tape, and then I wrapped it with black electrical tape. <laughs> so, is that yeah, how you call it? I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna do a JDM way. JDM. So I'm gonna lay, lay this stuff out. So we got, we got this. Yeah. We're gonna splice this into this. The microphone. I think I'm gonna install it right here. Okay, first step. What are you doing? I'm gonna splice. I'm gonna cut all these wires because I don't. I don't need this. All these wires like this on both of them. I'm gonna use these. Uh, I'm gonna use these connectors that like I I bought from England. But this is what they do in Japan. They use these type of connectors. I'm gonna reuse this antenna since he shaped his other antenna. Even though he doesn't listen to the radio, it's nice to have. Uh, another thing, this is pretty cool. So this harness that came with the Boss Audio uh, stereo deck it comes labeled, so it's really dummy proof. So all I gotta do is match these colors to these colors and hook up my speakers and I should be good to go. It's really easy. Come on, baby. That's the finished product right there. This, this one's a special one, this is double. Insulation part, goes like that. Looks like it's got that shield on there too, and uh, 
the smaller part of the shield goes like this and it's it's just they're just gonna um, attach like this That's the company I bought them from, and that's the part number for this one, and right there. What am I doing? Okay, so I ended up adding these for the uh, constant power, switch power, illumination, and ground. That way I can, if I want, I can keep adding on to them, like if Mark ever gets gauges. And then... I'm not going to hook up the speakers yet because I'm just going to double check everything. I'm going to check my how, check how I did the wiring in the speakers. If it's janky, <laughs> I'm going to redo it. <laughs> but And then i got to figure out the back ones because uh, it used to have an amp and now it doesn't. Cause it's going to run off the stereo. Okay. Like Okay, so Mark opened these up for me, and I think I soldered on this one, and I used the uh, splice connectors on the other one. So that one I like. I'm gonna redo this one because I don't, I don't. It'll bug me if they're both different. So I'm just gonna cut them off and just use the splice connector. Yeah. ground we'll reground it uh he was in a hurry so so before we have leaves we're hoping that we can boot this thing up and uh hear how it sounds those are white yeah those are lighting up right there Ooh. I told you it was a ground I told yes, you it was a sir. ground I told you it was a ground Bro, I've been waiting I've been waiting for this I've been waiting for this day for the last three it's, months it's it's work it's getting there man it's booting up it's kinda slow Okay, Mark, hook up your freaking apple. Yeah, apple car play. Here. <laughs> no, you can, you can, def it's way more bass heavy than this. These, so these aren't on right now. The rear alpines are only on. The alpines sound fantastic. They sound really good. Yeah, and yeah. they're not mounted in yet. They gotta be screwed in. So there's a little bit of vibration. So like, I mean, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell about the bass, but. I, I don't think it will transmit into the camera, but they they it's a lot more bass heavy than it was before. This actually this is gonna be a good sound system once you get yeah. it all dialed in. Yeah, I know. I think this is gonna be the best sound system out of like you your one V out of rooms at Sylvia and this S14. This will be the best one. Yeah, once those are hooked up too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know what's wrong. We, we're gonna troubleshoot it later on, but I just want time. Yeah, but. I mean, for the most part, it sounds it sounds pretty good. With yeah. just the back switches on, it's it's a, it's pretty sick. Yeah. All right, so I just noticed that I haven't outro the vlog yet. Um, so this is what it is. Um, so my thoughts on the sound system so far is, it's a lot better than like what I expected. The front speakers aren't hooked up for whatever reason. Uh, they're not firing but we'll like trace it back to the harness and figure out what wires are causing that. The DIN offers 320 watts all around, so it ends up being 80 watts to each speaker, which means I don't really have to run an external amp. So that's really nice. The Alpine speakers are recommended at a DIN that can handle, or an amp that can handle 85 watts per speaker. And then the Polk audio are recommended at 100. So those speakers actually didn't sound really good with my old DIN, but with the old DIN it was only running 22 watts to each speaker so 
I don't know if this makes any sense, but that means it was running at like quarter. So I'm really excited to hear how they will sound at like 75%. So things for it's gonna conclude the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.